when you secretly admire your brows in the viewfinder. What's up guys? I hope you're having an amazing day. So today I'm bringing to you a smoky eye. I don't know what to call it yet. Probably wouldn't even have a name. Like, let's be real. I just, I don't know what this is. So I did use the Jaclyn Hill palette to create this look today. The cranberry and smoky eye. I still don't know what I'm going to call it. But yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up for me, Zalyn. And subscribe down below. That was the other thing I was going to add. Otherwise, let's move on to the video. Bye. So, I've already primed my lids, guys. I went in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot just to neutralize the base because we are doing like a more dramatic island today. <laughs> so I thought I'd just neutralize them so that they stand out a bit more against the eyeshadow. So, for the eye look, I actually don't know <laughs> what I want to do today. I feel like that's like every video, so surprise, surprise. But I do know what I want to go in with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette. This baby right here is. So you guys can choose similar colours if you don't have this palette to recreate this look. So I always like to start with a crease colour as you guys know. So I'm going to probably just dip into Silk Cream and Made For Each Other and just start working that through the crease on a Morphe... What is this one? On a Morphe 221 crease brush. And as we usually do, just brush it in and out through the crease, starting from the outer and working inner. And I'm looking at cream as a cool thinking, damn, that's not a shade. I want to mix some of that in there. So, you know what, I'm just going to take that right now. I'm just going to brush that through the crease, just below where we placed silk cream and made for each other. And then I'm dipping into Hunt's on a petite crease brush and just going to work that from outer corner and just kind of slowly blend it through the crease. That is really nice though, like, ooh, that is a nice shade. You can see why it's one of her faves. See that structured brow today, guys? Like, I haven't had a structured brow in a good three months. Like, I was doing my brows today, like, oh, so that's what, that's what it looks like. <laughs> and then just taking some of Creamsicle and working that through the outer portion of the eye. Connecting it to the corner with that fluffy brush from the beginning. So for the lid, I'm liking the look of like Cran Apple. It's such a cute name, eh? That is so cute. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place Cran Apple on with a Morphe Precision Brush. Mmm, that is actually so pretty. Oh, that's such a nice shade. But I'm gonna deepen up the outer corner a little bit. If you want to keep it more soft, you can leave it with just this and add a wing liner. But you know me, guys. When am I ever soft, really? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to mix in Jack's Chip, and Central Park. So first of all, we're going to start with Jack's and then kind of dip into Chip a little bit. And I'm just doing this with a pencil brush so I can really apply it to the... Oof, you're a bit dark, sorry. Um, so you can really get more precision in where you're applying it because I just want it focused in the outer V. I do definitely want Jax to be the focus and then like um, Mocha, or oh no Chips sorry. And then a smidgen bit of Central Park and then just going in with Jax by itself to blend in Cranberry to the outer corner. Oh, I love this song. And just chuck some of Jack's in around the outer edge of well. Oh, of well. As well. Um, because I'm going to blend it into Hunt's as well. So I'm just kind of initiating that blend process. And I realized my music got a bit loud. I'm basically just doing the same process to my other eye. Just let your brush just kind of fall into your natural crease. That's how I kind of let it guide through the outer V area. So I'm just resting the tip of the brush into the outer corner to get that rounded shape. Then just jacks again. And jacks on the outer rim of the eye. Sorry guys, I'm a bit dark again. And then just taking hunts. Oh, <laughs> I grabbed it a bit much. Oops. So, grabbing a little bit of hunts, that's probably best. I'm just kind of softening the edges. 
That's very dark. I have to blend that out. Excuse me. So if you just did what I just did and grabbed a bit too much, just grab some of that lighter shade. This one's creamsicle on that really fluffy brush and it should just blend softly out. No harm, no foul. And then once I've got a kind of blend going, before I do like a brow bone highlight and all that jazz, I think I might go in with some liquid liner. I'm digging the liner again, guys. The phase is coming back. So for liquid liner, I'm going to go in with my Everlast one. I just really hate the applicator, so I'm going to go in with... Oops. So I'm just going to take a Real Techniques accent brush. And I'm just doing like a simple wing. I don't plan on it being too extravagant, but you know, you never know what you're going to get with wing liner. I always like to keep an open mind. So with wing liner, you always want to use the tail of your brow as like a guide to try and keep them as even as possible and angle them upwards. And then I just bring it back in across the lid towards the inner corner of my eye. I don't know if I bring it all the way into the inner, I kind of like it where it is there. You know what? And I'm actually pretty happy with it. Okay, honey, let's do the inner corners. No, that's not actually. Okay, so I'm going to apply some lashes and mascara and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so the eyelashes I went in today with are my Icona lashes from the Midnight Collection and they are in the style Make Him Miss Me. I've used these ones before. They're really like elongated so they complement the eyelashes. Not the eyelashes, the eyeliner. So that's why I kind of chose them in. I just like the style. So next I'm going to go in with my inner corner and brow bone highlight. Don't know what I'm going to do with my inner corner yet. But I know I do want to go in with Shimmer Shimmer for my brow bone. So on my precise shader brush, I'm just taking Whimsical and applying that to the very high point of the brow bone. I can't believe that I've been home for a week, like, it's just so, like, crazy, like, I, this time last week would be flying home on the airplane, like, I just think it's so crazy. I feel like time just was super slow and, like, awesome, I loved how it wasn't so fast when I was travelling, but now, like, I'm back, it seems to be speeding up again. So I'm just going back in with that fluffy brush and whatever's left in it, some of that creamsicle and those transition shades. I'm just kind of softening that highlight so it's not so harsh. I think I know what I want to do for my inner corner. It's pretty sick. I think I'm going to dabble in a bit of uh, puffs from my Juvia's Place palette and just place that on the very inner corners. And just really soften it up. I don't want it to be too intense of a pink. It's just something to kind of open the eyes up a bit. I didn't really want to use anything like with a champagne undertone or anything. I just don't think it would suit so well against cranberry, cran apple. I think that's nice. What do you think? So for my tight line, I'm going to take my Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner in the shade Obsidian. So the blackest black eyeliner I have. I'm just going to place that in my tight line to tie in my false lashes to my natural lashes. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to go in with a tight line on my bottom waterline. So I'm going to take my Makeup Geek one but in the shade Espresso, so it's a brown shade. So I think I might keep the bottom lash line pretty neutral. I don't think I'll use colour on there so I'm going to kind of use brown tones. I just think a black would be too intense. Just drag it down a smidgen on the outer corner. So I'm going to take Central Park and just place that tightly against my bottom lash line where I place the eye curl just underneath the lashes. Then taking a pencil brush and mixing some of mocha, buns, and Roxanne into it. Every time I think of Roxanne, I think of like the Friends episode where Phoebe's trying to convince Ross to get her tickets to Sting's concert and she's like, Ross can. I know it's not Roxanne, but it just reminds me of it. I'm just blending out the Central Park shade and I'm just softening any hinges with a, just a clean blending brush. There we go. Now for lips, which I do not have a clue what I want to do. 
I'm just gonna line my lips because I have no idea what I'm gonna do yet. And I'm using my. Do you see that? Oh, imagine that. I just did not realize that was there. That would be so awkward. So I'm just gonna line my lips, I think, because I have no idea what I'm gonna do. So I'm just using my full spectrum eyeliner pencil. So now that we're looking a bit cray cray at the moment, we're gonna go in with my the Waver Clear Message lipstick to go over the top. I don't want anything too intense. Like I was thinking of doing like a deep red lipstick, and then I thought, mm, like, ooh, right. Then I thought, like, oh, do I want that? Because the eyes are like, you know, not really that neutral. So I'm just kind of. Winging it, seeing how I go. I quite like that actually. Just the top's a little bit like a moustache still. And this is the finished makeup look, you guys. So it's basically with the Jaclyn Hill palette, me trialing it out and creating like this very wearable eye feel, very wearable autumn me fall makeup for you guys who say fall instead of autumn. If you do have any requests, please let me know because I am like struggle streeting it with ideas for my next videos because I want to do like two a week. I need to have ideas for the loving. So please let me know any ideas that you would like to like have or would like to see. I mean, I'm producing these for you, so I would like you guys to actually have a say in what I kind of produce it and put out there. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have an amazing day. I love you all so much, and I'll see you later. Mwah. Bye.